I've come here to Sunny Staines to meet a guy called Andy Chipley. Now Andy is a world class designer of paper planes and he's been slaving away in his special scientific shed working on a design for a paper plane which is optimised to fall from the edge of space and then glide the maximum possible distance to drop from our balloon. And I'm here at his house to see what he's been up to, so let's see what he's been doing. Oh, this is a shed! Hi! Andy! Hi! How are you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. So this is where it all happens. This is where the magic happens, yeah. This is where we uh, do the testing and uh, get things sorted this out. This is the amazing techno shed. Yeah, it's, uh, wow. it serves a purpose. Yeah, yeah. I'm really looking forward to hearing all about all the different designs we've got and seeing what we've been up to. Come in. Come in and have a look. Oh, fantastic. I've got terrible shed envy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's taken me months. Yeah. So, like, you've been doing these paper aeroplanes for literally years and years and years, haven't you? Yeah. Like, at international level and competitions and everything. Yeah, I started off doing, uh, making the Paper Aircraft Association, and uh, it's just carried on from there. It's, it's, it's international. I go all over the place doing competitions and advising people. These are the two front runners after all the tests we've done. Okay, this one uh, has, has just performed the best. So, I mean, when they drop, presumably they're not going to actually fly in any kind of aerodynamic way at first, are they? Or they they, just drop they will fall bit. better than a brick. Right. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Yeah. They will if the wind is strong. You get lots of thermals in, uh, go up in those areas. It's cloud yeah. based. It depends on what the cloud base is like. But you get lots of things. You get jet streams and these sorts of things. You'll get lots of tossing and tumbling around. They will fall out first of all. And with the weight being biased towards the nose, they will drop down and they will yeah. just shoot down. But they'll go ever so, ever so fast. Yeah. You've got that. But it's, I've designed some of these. I mean, this poor one here has had literally a rainstorm put onto it and it still survived. Okay, so how did you get from a piece of paper to these final designs? What's kind of the process you went through to get there? Okay, I had the brief and uh, there's going to be memory chips and weight involved with it. So, and the environment I was going to go into. So I had to then, from my sort of memory of different types of paper aircraft I've used, I came across different designs. So for example, I had this one, this one, this one, and some others which I haven't got here at the moment because they've been binned. But I tested those out by literally putting the chips onto them and then throwing them in the park. Yeah. Um, make one for us, I'll give it to my son. To say yeah, sure. Why? And there you are. That's, that's it. it, without the pockets in it, but that's just a standard plane. That is a, that is a that pro plane. Okay, we're here in the multi-story car park. We've got a hero plane, one we're going to use on the balloon. So let's test it from altitude and see how it goes. Wow, wow, that's really sweet. It's still going. It's still going, dude, you see that? Like it's kind of magical power of anyway, no, I reckon that, that proves that they definitely work. Yeah, How much do you reckon that could go? In an ideal situation. A couple of hundred miles is possible, miles? yeah, yeah. not sure. Hopefully more. Yeah. Yeah. Without altitude, who knows? Yeah. Well, if they go like that one, then we just go. Yeah, that's the Amazing. difference. You get some with a wind, some yeah. not. Well, cheers, dude. Like, absolutely wonderful. You're a hero. Much. That was literally magic. Yeah, that's good. Paul Daniels was good. Unbelievable. Okay, so, yeah. I guess we'll. See you on launch day then, yes, see how it goes. Do. Best of luck. Thank you. <laughs>